Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Tonight we're going to talk about picks or plectrums and see if they really can make a difference to your tone. So, we've got a normal Dunlop Tortex pick. We have a stone pick made out of carnelian. We have a wooden pick made out of Makassar ebony. And we have a stainless steel pick. So the Tortex is a normal one, min one millimeter thick one. Uh, the wooden one's much thicker, probably about two mil, but with a tapered point. The stone is thick all the way round, and the stainless steel is very thin at 0.3 millimeters. So um, I'm going to go through clean with arpeggios, cordy things, and then we'll go to like a Marshall crunch. Um, and then we'll fin finally finish off full throttle. Um, and let's have a listen. So, first up is clean with the Tortex. Next we'll go with the wooden. Follow that up with the stone. up is the stainless steel. Okay, let's add a bit more gain now and again starting off with the Tortex. up to the stone. And finally, stainless steel. Now we'll add some more gain again and start with the Tortex. to wood. And finally, stainless steel. So 
So I think the thing that's apparent to me is no matter how much gain you pile on, there is a difference in the tone. Um, the Tortex standard plastic pick is pretty much as you'd expect. Sounds like a normal pick. Um, the wood and the stone, these two, I thought they sounded fairly similar. Um, both got a much rounder, fuller bottom end than the plastic one. And the treble seems to be tamed in a bit. Um, and then the stainless steel is the complete opposite of that. Um, not as much bass, but a much more present sound overall. So I think if you're in the studio, um, you've got your standard pick that you record your main parts with. If you don't want it to double and triple tr track, um, having a choice of picks is ideal. If I was recording thick, heavy, distorted rhythm parts, I'd use one of these two, um, the stone or the wooden, and I think they'd also sound pretty good on something like a 12 string or a really bright guitar, something like a Gretsch um, would sound great with those. Um, and then if I was doing intricate chords where I needed a bit of clarity or if I was doing riffing or something like that, I'd probably go for a stainless steel. Um, I mean, it's such a cheap and easy way to change your tone. Um, I'm surprised how much difference there is. And for a couple of quid each, you know, you can really give yourself an extra voice to experiment with. So go to your guitar shop, get on eBay, whatever, and just have a look what's out there. Different textures, different materials, and um, have a play. Let me, let me know what you think in the comments below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.